in 1995, in London, England. Eleanor Young, along with her son Nick, sister Felicity, and niece Astrid, went to the Calthorpe Hotel. When Eleanor asked at the front desk about her reservation, the clerk and manager, Reginald Ornsby, lied and said they didn't have it, likely because of racist reasons. Eleanor called her husband, who then called Lord Calthorpe, a friend of the Young family. Calthorpe revealed that he had sold the hotel to the Youngs, making Ornsby look foolish. As the new owner, Eleanor told Ornsby and the clerk to clean up the mud that Nick had left on the floor. In 2018, in New York City, Rachel Chu teaches her economics class by playing poker with a student and winning, leaving an impression on the others. Later, she joins her boyfriend Nick for a meal. Nick expresses his desire to take Rachel to his hometown in Singapore for his best friend, Colin Koo's wedding. This is an important opportunity for Nick to introduce Rachel to his family. Meanwhile, two women from a blog site called Radio One Asia notice Rachel and Nick, they take pictures of them. The photo quickly spreads in the Asian community and reaches Eleanor, Nick's mother. She, along with her sisters, begins discussing Rachel and calls Nick to inquire about bringing his mysterious girlfriend to the wedding. Rachel talks to her mom, Carrie, about Nick and how he's never really opened up about his family. Rachel is worried that Nick might come from a less affluent background and is ashamed of it. Later, at the airport, Rachel is surprised when she and Nick are given first-class seats. Nick then reveals that his family is actually very wealthy, and the first-class flight is one of their privileges. He shares with Rachel that he has wealthy cousins, including Alastair Chang, who is a successful filmmaker in Taiwan. Alastair is currently dating his lead actress, despite her reputation for being a not-so-great actress. Next is Alastair's brother, Eddie, who works as a banker, and is married to Fiona. They have three children, but Eddie is overly concerned with their public image. Finally, there's Astrid, whom Nick describes as a sweetheart. Astrid is shown talking to a little girl and complimenting her teddy bear. Later, she meets with a jeweler to buy earrings that are worth over $1 million. The couple, Rachel and Nick, lands in Singapore, and Colin, along with his fiancée, Araminta Lee, picks them up. They explore the city, trying out local food that Rachel hasn't experienced before. At Astrid's home, she reads a bedtime story to her son, Cashin, before her husband, Michael, joins them. Michael married into the affluent lifestyle, but Astrid sometimes hides some of her expensive shoes and jewelry to avoid drawing attention to their wealth. The following morning, Rachel pays a visit to her former college roommate, Peek Lin Go. Peek Lin's family is also wealthy, but they are considered new money compared to Nick's family. Rachel meets Peek Lin's parents, Wai Mun, and Nina, along with her three siblings. When Rachel mentions that she's dating Nick Young, everyone is surprised and emphasizes just how wealthy the Youngs are. They are major real estate developers in the area, and other parts of the world. Rachel informs Peek Lin about a party that the Youngs are hosting that evening at Nick's grandmother's house. In response, Peek Lin provides Rachel with some fresh clothes to wear to the event. Rachel and Peek Lin arrive at the luxurious estate, and Nick invites Peek Lin to stay and join the party. Nick introduces Rachel to various relatives, including cousins and aunts, before taking her to meet his mother, Eleanor, and then his grandmother, Shang Su Yi. However, the family quickly disapproves of Rachel as she doesn't come from the same wealthy background. In a conversation with Eleanor, Rachel explains that her mother is a self-made woman in real estate, and she herself is an economics professor. Eleanor doesn't seem impressed and frowns upon Rachel's ambitions, considering them unnecessary. Meanwhile, at the party, Astrid is with her husband Michael, who leaves the room. Astrid glances at his phone and reads a text from another woman saying, The bed feels empty without you. The following day, Rachel attends Araminta's bachelorette party with her friends, while Nick joins his cousins and their extravagantly wealthy schoolmate, Bernard Tai, for Colin's bachelor party. The bachelor party is held on a freight ship, featuring pools and a dance floor. During the party, Eddie criticizes Nick for choosing Rachel, considering her just a commoner. He points out to Colin that Nick's own family might not have accepted Araminta if she weren't from a wealthy family herself. Nick and Colin decide to leave the party for a quieter spot to relax. It's here that Nick unveils an engagement ring, intending to propose to Rachel. Colin points out that Nick had already surprised his family by not returning the previous year to inherit their company. Marrying Rachel would further mean walking away from his inheritance, adding to the unexpected choices Nick has made in the eyes of his family. While the ladies enjoy a shopping spree and spa day on an island, 
courtesy of Araminta, Rachel encounters one of her friends, Amanda Ling, who reveals herself as Nick's ex-girlfriend. Amanda subtly tries to play with Rachel's feelings. Rachel becomes upset when she overhears the other girls making derogatory comments about her at the spa. Seeking solace, she runs into Astrid, who attempts to comfort her. However, their troubles escalate when they discover a dead gutted fish on Rachel's bed with a message written in blood on the window, accusing her of being a gold digger. That night, while the other women are dancing and drinking, Astrid helps Rachel bury the fish on the beach. During this moment, Astrid confides in Rachel about Michael's affair. Upon reuniting, Rachel shares with Nick the distressing incident with the other women. She expresses more concern that Nick never disclosed anything about his past, while he believes it wasn't significant. Later, Nick takes Rachel to Eleanor's house to learn how to make dumplings, a skill Sui taught him. While there, Rachel notices Eleanor's ring, crafted by Nick's father for his proposal. Eleanor makes a patronizing comment about Rachel not embracing her old-fashioned traditions in the same way. Later, as Rachel is navigating to her room, Eleanor clarifies that the ring her husband gave her was crafted because Sui initially disapproved of Eleanor. It took time for Sui to accept her. However, Eleanor strongly communicates to Rachel that she doesn't believe Rachel is suitable for Nick. Rachel has lunch with Peek tending the wedding might stir up drama with Nick's family. Peek Lin persuades her to go and takes Rachel to her house to choose a suitable outfit for the wedding with the assistance of Nick's cousin, Oliver. On the way to the wedding, Astrid confronts Michael about his affair. Michael attempts to deflect blame onto Astrid, accusing her of making him feel inadequate with her constant purchases of expensive items. Frustrated, he leaves the car, leaving Astrid to attend the wedding alone. Rachel arrives at the wedding and impresses everyone with her stunning dress. She even manages to surprise Amanda when she informs her she's in her way. Eleanor and her sisters notice Princess Inton at the wedding, who requested a whole row to herself to avoid any disturbances. To their surprise, Rachel approaches Inton and shares her admiration for how she has utilized her wealth. Inton takes a liking to Rachel, and even Nick recognizes how great she looks. The wedding proceeds, with Nick expressing his love for Rachel, and vice versa. Colin and Araminta are happily married, marking a joyful celebration. During the reception, Eleanor instructs Oliver to intervene and stop Alistair and Kitty from dancing provocatively on the dance floor. Oliver steps in, sends Alistair away, and takes over the dance with Kitty. During the dance, he hints to Kitty that if she were to marry Alistair, she might have to wait, as he is fourth in line for his family's fortune. In contrast, Bernard is the sole heir to his family's business. Meanwhile, Rachel and Nick are summoned to meet with Eleanor and Sui. Eleanor discloses that she hired a private investigator to delve into Rachel's past. The investigation unveils that Rachel's biological father is still alive, and Rachel's mother was previously married to another man. She cheated on him with Rachel's father and fled to America. Nick is furious with Eleanor for invading Rachel's privacy, and Rachel, upset by the revelation, decides she wants no part of the family. She runs away from the party, expressing her feelings to Eleanor. Nick attempts to find her, but she has already left. Rachel stays with Peek Lin, feeling depressed in her bedroom. The next morning, she is surprised to find her mother, Carrie, showing up at the house. When Rachel discusses the information about her father, Carrie reveals that her original husband was abusive, and she sought comfort with a school friend who later got her pregnant with Rachel. Fearing for their lives, Carrie fled to America. She discloses that it was Nick who called her out of concern for Rachel. Michael packs his bags to leave, but Astrid decides to take her son, Cashin, with her to live in one of her other apartments. She expresses to Michael that she can't expect him to act like a man because he isn't one. Astrid then retrieves the earrings she had bought earlier but kept hidden from Michael, and she finally wears them. Meanwhile, Nick meets with Rachel in the city by the water. He takes out his ring and proposes to her. Eleanor goes to a downtown spot where people are playing mahjong after Rachel invited her. During their conversation, Rachel informs Eleanor that she declined Nick's proposal because she doesn't want to be the cause of his family disowning him. However, she points out that if Nick chooses his family over her, he might spend the rest of his life resenting Eleanor. In response, Eleanor cryptically remarks, only a fool folds a winning hand. Simultaneously, Rachel draws a mahjong tile that would complete her hand and win her the game. 
Rachel responds that she loves Nick so deeply that she's willing to sacrifice her own happiness for his. She asks Eleanor to remember this when Nick finds someone else in the future that Eleanor approves of and is happily married. Rachel, describing herself as just a daughter of an immigrant and a nobody, suggests that she made it all possible. She then discards a mahjong tile. Eleanor picks it up and wins the mahjong game. Rachel reveals that she let Eleanor win and departs with Carrie, who gives Eleanor a stern glare. Eleanor, after this incident, goes home to have a personal conversation with Nick. Rachel and Carrie get ready to leave for New York, but to Rachel's surprise, Nick appears on the plane to talk to her. He shares his ideal proposal and expresses that, despite any circumstances, he loves her immensely and would willingly give up his entire fortune to spend his life with her. Nick proposes once again on the airplane, this time using Eleanor's ring, with all the passengers as witnesses. Rachel says yes this time, and cheers erupt as she and Nick share a kiss. Nick expresses his desire to stay for just one more night. Nick later surprises Rachel by organizing an engagement party on a rooftop, where all his friends and family joyously join in the celebration. Even Eleanor manages to give Rachel a sincere smile. As Rachel and Nick share a kiss, fireworks explode across the sky, adding a magical touch to the moment.